It's time to go fishing with the Delmarva Angler on the Talk of Delmarva, 92.7 WGMD and WGMD.com. The Delmarva Angler on WGMD and WGMD.com is brought to you by Demoki Vapor, your full-service vape shop offering a large selection at the lowest prices on the Delmarva Peninsula. Located at the Southgate Shopping Center in Ocean Pines or online at DemokiVapor.com. The Fisherman's Wharf in Lewis offering full and half-day and night fishing trips with charters starting at just $50. Schedule your trip today at FishLewis.com or call 302 645 Tuna. Now, here's your host, John Butler. Hey folks, so today we're taking a break from fishing and helping to rescue a gray seal. Now during this time of the year, the seal will often stop to relax and rest before continuing its travels to faraway waters. But sometimes, on rare occasions, seals will come ashore injured and in need of some human intervention. Now we're tagging along with volunteers from the Mert Institute in Lewis, Delaware today. Suzanne Thurman is the executive director of MER. She says this young seal was found in Virginia Beach and is making its way to a rescue center in New Jersey. To get there, volunteers will need to transport the seal across the Cape May Lewis Ferry from Delaware into New Jersey. As you'll see here, the volunteers are very careful loading the seal onto the truck. The main reason for that is to keep the seal calm because you don't want to get it too restless and possibly injure itself. Ice is also used to cool down the seal. Once the seal is inside and ready to go, it's now time to board the Cape May Lewis Ferry on its way to New Jersey. Once we're off the ferry, we head to the island city of Brigantine, just northeast of Atlantic City, to the Marine Mammal Strand Center. It's an impressive facility where marine animals come to recuperate from their injuries. The center also has a Sea Life Educational Center and gift shop, along with an observation tank. Since 1978, the center has helped marine life like our little guy from Virginia Beach. While he's not happy right now. He will eventually warm up to the place, and in time, and once in full health, he'll be released back into the ocean. A big thank you to the volunteers of the Murr Institute and the Marine Mammal Stranding Center for all their hard work to care for these incredible animals. I'm John Butler. Until next time.